what is up everyone welcome back to the channel my name is juliet lex here on youtube hello um today is flashback friday for those of you who are unaware flashback friday is where i go back in time and check out first second and third gen k-pop so if you have any suggestions for groups or solo artists that i should watch Please let me know down below and make sure that they have a music video so that we can check it out together. Um, today, we're going to be checking out Super Junior. Super Junior is my very first K-pop group, is Super Junior. So, back in high school, like, way back when, um, I was really into rock. Still am, but I was, like, heavy, heavy into heavy metal. And, like, um, just rock and... All of that stuff. Still am, but not as much. But back then, I had a friend. My very first, like, high school friend. Favorite friend. Best friend to this day. We don't talk to each other much, but still still think of her as my best friend. Uh, she showed me Super Junior. She was really into, sorry, there's so much fluff. It's this little, like, cardigan. But anyways. She showed me Super Junior. She's really into K-pop and really into K-dramas. She showed me Super Junior, Girls' Generation, and A Big Bang. And Super Junior was the very first one she showed me. And it was the group that actually I was like, I, I think I could, I could, I could, I could listen to this. I could watch this, you know? So that was Super Junior. Um, until recently, though, when I rediscovered K-pop, I think like a year and a half ago, um, from when I started my journey. So, uh... I was like, you know, what was that group she showed me? And then I was like, that's right, Super Junior. So I looked them up, and yeah, I've been an elf uh, for a while now. I've, I've, you know, done two comebacks with them so far. Two? Two comebacks with them so far. Um, Love them. Their new release, House Party. This is a house party. I freaking love. I have so much love and admiration for all the members, past, present, and future because <laughs> I hope that they continue. But today we're gonna be checking out Bonana Bon give me a sec. Bonamana. I think I've heard this before. Uh another person suggested sorry sorry, but I already know sorry sorry, so we're just not gonna do that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I already know, you know, it's a bop, it's a bop. So uh we're gonna we're gonna jump into to Bonamana here. Um let me make sure everything is a go. Before we uh, go, let's go. I think I've seen this, but I don't know. Also, if you're wondering, Unhyuk is my favorite. He's my bias. And then I really love Lee Tuk, so yeah. I know this song. Yes, I know this song. It's so fun to like look back and be like, oh my god, like this group that I like admire for being in the industry for like 15 years now. And like going back to like their debut stuff or like Ergie Super Junior and like, you know, what they are now. It's like, what a process. What a career, you know? Super electronic dance party music. <laughs> but Super Junior, like, they have, like, a unique, distinct sound even now. Oh, Don He, I love Don He too. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, allergies are really bad. Yes, song. Yes, song. I love Yes, song too. 
Actually, I love all the members, all of them, but Unihuk is my favorite. I just, I think he has so much swag when he dances. <clears throat> he definitely stands out. That's my dude. Crazy dancer. So it's like him and Shindong, man. Him and Shindong, they're so good at dancing. I got everybody's wearing like three pieces and then there is Lee Took who has no shirt, just a blazer on top. This is so like, I don't know if y'all are Mexican, <laughs> but I am. There's a there's a TV show uh, called La Rosa de Guadalupe. And <laughs> it's, we'll talk about that in a little bit. So La Rosa de Guadalupe it has nothing to do with Super Junior. Um, except for the fact that, except for the fact that uh, La Rosa de Guadalupe is like a, it's like a, honestly it's like a drama, but it's not. So like every week it's like a different um, story that is being told. And at the end of the story, there's like a um, lesson to be learned or such. I don't watch it on the regular. It's not something that I personally like to watch or anything like that. But my mom watches it every now and again. And sometimes I catch a glimpse or whatnot when I go into her room. Um, but... There's usually like a nightclub scene, you know, with like the younger troubled youth go to in this show. And um, whenever there is troubled youth, um, they have like this like bumping disco music or like techno or like heavy EDM. <laughs> this song reminds me of that, but like also like a lot of Super Junior songs are very EDM heavy, like I was saying. They have a very specific sound to them. They are very EDM, very house, very dance party. Very, just, that's just what they sound like, especially like in like their title songs um, or stuff that they promote. It's very up loud, you know. I don't mind that. I feel like you know they are very, they're the, they're at that stage in their in their career where they could just release anything and it just hits and it kills. Um, so it's nice to see like early stages of their career versus what they are now. And, um, you know, I think they're great vocalists and <laughs> you don't get to see that unless you like hear B sides or like, um, you know, actually delve into their music, but, um, they're great vocalists. Uh, yeah, it was nice. I have heard this song. I actually have seen this video. It's been a while though. So it was nice to go back and see it. I know some of you don't like me talking in between the videos, but that's just who I am. Um, if something pops into my head, I like to say it then and there because I will forget and I won't say it at the end. So, 
yes i'd rather you guys get my actual reaction to things than me keeping quiet so if that bothers you and you just want me to react to the video without saying anything <laughs> why don't you just watch the video yourself you know what i'm saying okay but um yes there's a lot of good things that i could say about super junior um some of the most <laughs> chaotic group of people ever i love them so much i admire them so much for their hard work and just the work life balance that they have they are one of those idols that you can tell they love what they do and they do what they love so that's why i admire them a lot um yeah one of my my favorite groups if you guys have not heard house party definitely go listen to it it's a bop it's like a disco house tech no <laughs> it's a super junior song you know a super junior song when it comes on house party is a super junior song also super junior is one of those groups that has tapped the latin and um mexico south american market and has done wonders they have a song with leslie grace they have a song with rake who are both super super huge latin artists um rake coming from mexico so i love rake and i thought it was a really good um mix with them so uh they did one more time uh, so yeah just to let you know also they have a a cover and a spoof video of ahora te puedes marchar which is also uh a, a song from a mexican artist luis miguel um or el sol de mexico so i love super junior i just love how open they are to trying new things and just they just don't care about looking ridiculous they just they just are you know so genuine so yes that that's what i wanted to say uh any more videos please let me know and i will get to it today was a special one for me because i'm not feeling well and i was like ah i promised i promised that i was gonna do super junior so here you go um but yeah guys thank you bye